Hey, congratulations guys on your new camper. I'm excited for you guys to uh, use this kind of in the meantime there between houses, but also the uh, family memories you guys are gonna make with it, with all your camping adventures with your family. My name's Steve from Lakeshore RV. I'm gonna do the video orientation on this camper. If you have any questions though, feel free to get a hold of me, 231-736-9162. Let's get started. All right, guys, what I like to do is start right here at the entrance. You'll notice these steps will flip up inside of the coach and they're gonna rest right on the rails right here. You can kind of see where they've been resting. And that's just those little ears on each side of it. So you wanna make sure that this door is completely open um, when you're bringing the steps up and down. Otherwise, there's a possibility of it catching on the uh, door frame there. As we go around to the front of it, um, you can see right here, you have extend retract. That is gonna be for your front jacks right here to bring those up and down, uh, just like so. And then your pass-through compartment right here is just gonna be uh, for storage. As we go around to the front, you have two 20-pound propane tanks, uh, battery in the back, and then also power tongue jack uh, right at the front. So you can see right here for the light, switch off on and then up and down for the uh, actual power tongue jack itself. As we continue around to the side, this is the other side of the pass-through storage. And then as we make our way to the back, you can see the couple of slide outs right here, guys. You're gonna have the power cord, which is actually built into this camper right here. Pretty cool. Um, this just pulls out, it'll give you about 20 foot right there. That is a 30 amp uh, cord. City water connection, this is where you're gonna hook a hose up right there. And it'll be a separate spot for the um, uh, fresh water tank fill. Just under that, you can see right there, that is going to be your outlet there. That is going to be for the sewer and the gray water. That's all going to come out of one. And you can kind of see how it's labeled right here. I'm going to zoom back out. Uh, gray water, black water, gray water. So you're going to have gray water for the bathroom area, also gray water for the kitchen area, two separate tanks. And then uh, black water is going to be the uh, water that goes down the um, toilet there. As we continue around to the back here, if you're at a campground or somewhere that has cable hookup, that's your input right there, where you'll hook that up. Outside shower is right here. Um, that is just a, uh, the silver key on the keychain there to operate that, um, get that unlocked. And then it's just hot and cold water right there. As we come around, you have your outside kitchen. This is a uh, electric only fridge right here and then you have the uh, two burner stove top which will actually tie into the main gas line um, you can see right underneath there with the yellow plug and then also at the back here you're going to have the um, jacks right here extend and retract as well as we continue on uh, one thing to note guys you're going to have separate keys for the separate doors so this is the uh door into the bathroom here it'll be keyed a little bit different than the main door right here this is going to be coaxial out and also an outlet um, so if you want to put a tv out here you can hook it up right there a um, couple of things kind of important here this is going to be your furnace exhaust so when the furnace is going this will get extremely hot i know it says hot all over it but it really does so um, keep the kettles away from it uh, refrain from uh, leaning anything up against it that could uh, potentially ignite. So it does get really hot. Now next to that, right here, this is gonna be your fresh water fill to fill the fresh water tank right there. Uh, the diameter will actually, you can put a hose end right into it. And then next to that, this is gonna be your hot water heater next to that. And again, that's gonna get extremely hot when that's in use. So just be mindful of it um, as you're using the furnace and also the hot water heater that um, you don't put anything up against it or the kiddos don't touch the um, the grate there. Outside of that, guys, uh, we'll go inside and check it out. All right, here we are inside of the 318. First thing, when we come inside the door, you'll notice right here is going to be the control panel. Now, a couple of things to note, you're going to have your slide controls right here in and out and also for the awning. Above that, um, you're going to have the lights, the ceiling lights right here, um, hot water heater for the gas, and then also the um, water pump right there. Contents are going to be right here. Um, we push on battery. You can see batteries charged. Fresh water is empty. Black is empty. Black is going to be for the uh, sewer um, tank for the uh, toilet. 
and they have gray tank right there. That's gonna be dirty water down the sink and down the shower, and you can see all the tanks are empty. So as we come into the coach, you see right here, guys, this is gonna be um, hookups here for uh, cable or the antenna. So if you hook a TV up and hook a coaxial up, you'll get the antenna right here. This is gonna be for rooftop um, satellite. There's a coaxial up there for uh, satellite, if you have a satellite dish to put up there. And then right here, you can see your RCAs for the um, video and then also for the audio on it. And then right here is gonna be your Furion. This is your sound bar right here. And they'll turn on, you have different zones. Zone one is gonna be for the uh, sound bar speaker. Two is gonna be for the outside speakers. So we come into the coach, you can see lights right here, your switch for the uh, slide lights. So any of the lights that are not on a switch, they're gonna have a switch within the uh, light right here. So you can kind of see in the middle where I push, that's gonna be to turn that light off and on. As we come over to the uh, refrigerator here, you see to turn that on, you're just gonna have a power button right here to turn that on. And then you're gonna have just on the inside here is going to be um, the fridge on the bottom and then freezer on the top here. Open those just to release right there. Now underneath this, you're gonna have, you're gonna have your 12 volt fuses and you can see right there what runs off the 12 volt and um, like the slide outs, the blower motor, um, lights, those type of things are gonna run off 12 volt. And then also you have 110 um, breakers on it as well. So again, if you're having something that's not working, um, this is gonna be your first place to check. Now, when you put a load on, let's say you turn a bunch of lights on, you're running, some power you are going to hear some uh, noise from that there's a fan back there to keep it cool so not uncommon to hear that we come into the bathroom area uh, just a couple of things to note here to flush the commode it is a foot flush simply down and then if you put push down just a little bit it'll bring water into it now it's winterized right now there's antifreeze through the whole system on this so You'll want to run the antifreeze out of the uh, the lines before you use the water in this. One other thing to note right here, this is a GFI outlet. So if this outlet's not working, um, or maybe some other outlets are not working, check that GFI. If that trips, that might take a couple outlets out with it. Now into the um, bunk room here, you can see you've got your storage. You have your bunks here, outlet, outlet. Uh, storage under that this top bunk here this will flip up and then you can see right there it'll just pin up to keep it up on each side if you want to keep this bunk up and then the bottom for seating and then those will flip out um, for additional sleeping area on the floor there as well a couple of things when you're traveling you want to make sure that this lock the safety lock for the uh, pocket door is on otherwise that door will just freely slide back and forth uh, smoke detector is right here guys and then there's also a carbon monoxide co2 detector walked past it right down there so that little black one um one thing to note too if you're in the bathroom or even out here and you're using some kind of an aerosol can sometimes that will set off that uh, CO2 detector. So just be mindful if you're using any kind of aerosol around it, it is pretty sensitive, but that is for um, propane leaks and then carbon monoxide, that's the detector for that. Your central back is right here on off switch and you see where the uh, hose will hook up into it. And then as we come up into the bedroom area here, guys, um, if you want to do a TV, there's a wood backer right here. Just remember that wall is about an inch and a half thick, so don't use too long of a screw to attach the uh, the bracket. And then hookups are at the top there. Um, on each side, you're going to have your storage. And then also underneath the bed right here, simply lift that up. And additional storage under the bed as well. But guys, that is going to be the overview of the camper. I know you're going to have questions on it. Um, and when you get here, we'll, we'll go through it as well. But give me a call if you ever have questions. 231-736-9162. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. And thank you so much for the business.